Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with the third game and the last game in the tournament, the Ven Warhammer 40,000. Uh, this time I play as in the first game again white scars, but uh, really a, a completely different composition of white scars. So yeah, let's just start cracking. If you want to know more details about the previous games and about uh, the army I'm using for this game, uh, you can go to my game one video of this tournament. I will put the link in the description below, so you can go there and and, and watch this video if you want to know in more detail the composition of my army. And my army is basically a mix, uh, is a astro military formation, the one that you have in the Monka, plus a small uh, detachment of uh, Dark Angels. So in that case. Yeah, if you want to go more details, uh, you can go there, and if you haven't seen the previous games, you also can I, I encourage you to go there and see my previous games. Uh, now we go to the game 3, and we start with the deployment. So the deployment in that case was a battle deployment, was a normal one, uh, the down of war deployment of, uh, that we normally you do. And uh, my opponent had the initiative, so the army of my opponent is almost coming everything on reserves in turn 1. So it's composed of um, two units of three bytes. Then you have one unit of, uh, of what's called this, the the, uh, the common squad, the chapter common squad uh, with the chapter master and the own bike and they have some stone shields there. Then there is a unit of three explore, um, scouts on bikes. That are the ones that are just in front of my lines. These three bikes that you have, you can see in front of my lines. And then in reserve, we have two units of assault marines, uh, two units of devastators. So this is a formation, special formation um, from the white scars. I think also from the tau supplement or about the white scars. And then in, also in reserve, he has a, a unit of centurions with a, a librarian and the librarian have a special um, artifact that uh, makes he himself and the unit he's in ignore cover and then there is another pot that will arrive in uh, uh, after the run so yeah it's a really an alpha strike army the devastators are coming drop pot they have driverless the time that they arrive and yeah and and the, and the assault marines can assault the same turn that they arrive. So yeah, this is a look on the first one. So really, if here I can see the initiative, I can try to kill this this uh, scout bike. This scout bike have the uh, teleport button, so they can um, make the teleport much easier. He also have an inquisitor, and he's using the inquisitor to have some servo schools and the servo schools that we see on the tabletop, on the table, this type of markers. And then the mission for this uh, battle is we have to hold um, uh, objectives. So we have milestone um, objective, and then we have to point between 5 and 10 enemy units. And we have to give 1 or 2 kilo points to these units, uh, to a maximum of 10. So if you choose 10, it's 1 point per unit. In the, and then when you kill this unit, you get the kill points for killing that unit that you put on, on uh, uh, that you, that you, uh, yeah, that you note down. So in my case, I just put the points, two points for each assault unit. So I'm, I want to kill the assault units. I put points for the drop pods. So we'll try to kill the drop pods. And then the centurions. And I put the centurions because I think, although maybe it's very difficult for me to kill the centurions, it's a gambit to see if we, uh, because I think the centurions are going to be a very painful unit. They have the grab weapons and the missile launchers, and on top of that, they ignore cover because they have the librarian assigned to them. Uh, he's using divination, a combination of divination and tele and telepathy. Telepathy. Yeah. He's using a combination of uh, divination and telepathy. I I deploy as you can see here. Uh, I try to accumulate my units in one flank. I try to deny the flank to avoid that they, I can be surrounded very easily by by the soul marines and I want to force him for a, a front assault so in that way I can have better reaction of his attack and this is just at the beginning so he he was very um, afraid about the my templates and it is when he's putting his very scattered on, on the table 
and yeah, on the bikes, the, the chapter master have a storm shield and I think power fist, and then there is two bikes with a storm shield, and there is one guy that have a power axe. The other one. Uh, and, yeah, and, and we go to the top one for the West Cars again, the third game, and I didn't manage to get the initiative, and this time I didn't see the initiative like I did in game two. So we start with the uh, turn one for the White Cars. And as expected, he just dropped everything in front of my lines, try to do as much damage as he can, and try to destroy me in the short range. So yeah, I was expecting something like that. Uh, let's see how much damage they can do and if I can uh, react to his assault. This is why I put all my units quite uh, concentrated in one point. He only have one, really one uh, template weapon that is the the barrage or the ordinance from the from the chapter master and he didn't use that. So yeah, let's see. Uh, the scouts moved back just to hold an objective. He had to hold on an objective that was there, and uh, yeah, and I think killed something. He what this was the objective he had. So, and then in the in his shooting, uh, he killed my Razorback and giving him one point. I think he had to kill some units and vehicles, and he killed my Razorback. Uh, then he tried to assault. With the two units of uh, assault terminator, assault marine, sorry. So he saw where first with the unit that was closer. I did uh, Overwatch. I kill, I think two or three marines, and then he get, he tried to assault and he failed the assault in, in distance. And after that, he assault with the other units. There were two units of seven, so you see one unit reduced to five, and the other unit just getting close combat with my big block of twenty. Uh, guardians. I'm not very scared. Maybe uh, I don't think he can kill the 20 guardians. And even if I lose, uh, I have the they are stubborn because my commissar is in that unit, and I I have leadership 10 because he's a lord commissar. So yeah, this is at the uh, at the beginning of the salting phase. And no more to say about the shooting. I think they didn't kill. He didn't kill too much more. So we go to the first one for the Astro Militarum. So the close combat, yeah, I think the close combat I did very little damage to him in return. He did some damage on my units, and now it's it's my turn to give my retribution. And yeah, sorry that I, I missed to make pictures in the middle of the turn, but it was it was quite devastating for him. So I just move ahead with the unit with this um, the tactical squad. I put the demolition bombs that I, I keep in the backward just to be in range uh, to be able to drop the demolition bombs in one of the devastator units that was very close to me. Uh, the demolition bombs really um, destroyed the, these devastators because I give them uh, the uh, order that they can ignore cover. So they were demolition bombs ignoring cover with the orders. I dropped the demolition bombs and I destroyed. The, the devastators. Then with the other shooting I destroyed one of the drop pods and I disseminate the other unit of devastators. The one so it was one unit of devastators with drug weapons. I completely disseminate this unit and destroy it. There was another unit of devastators with the multi melters and I killed uh, three of the multi melters. So I uh, the, the unit is only one multi melter remaining. Uh, then in the soul phase I, in the previous assault, I killed uh, one or two. I think I killed, I killed two um, assault marines with my commissar, with the power sort of my commissar. This turn, I decide to support the unit assaulting with my sentinels. The sentinel with the hammer of wrath killed two uh, assault terminators, and then the same sentinels kill another assault terminator, and then the commissar killed the other two. So the commissar in total killed four. <laughs> Of these assault, um, not terminators, assault um, marines, and the rest were killed by the by the sentinel. So yeah, I, I managed to obliterate one of the units of assault marines. So there was quite relaxed. No, I think I have quite quite good control of the board in that area. 
and I, of course, I, I, I was, yeah, quite devastating also from my side. So I forgot to mention in his turn one, he killed my bikes and my Razorback, and then in return, I kill a unit of Devastators, a drop pod, and I almost obliterate a second unit of Devastators, and I kill uh, one assault uh, Marine squad. So, yeah, I was quite happy. As you can see, I leave one of my Sentinels back, because was hit by one weapon, and he is immobilized. So, I, I, in that case, I can split the, the unit. So, yeah, we start with a bla uh, very bloody battle, just the first turn, a lot of kills from both sides. And, yeah, I, my Space Marines lost the bikes, uh, I think it was quite bloody from both sides. And really the performance of the Commissar was exceptional in this battle. So this is an overview of the battlefield, after turn 1. And now see what is the counterattack from the Space Marines. Here another review. I know my main concern is this big block of bikes uh, that uh, have the common squad and also the chapter master there. They can deliver a lot of damage and my units are very exposed because I move them ahead just to be in range of my plasma and to try to make as much damage as I can with the, the short range shooting. So um, overview of the battlefield. Now we go into the turn 2 for the white scars. The drop pod, the remaining drop pod just arrived from reserve. This is the last one. And of course, these guys, uh, these guys flee in the previous turn because I killed two of them in the shooting at the end of the phase. They fail the the moral check and they just flee uh, back and now they rally and they are ready to do the second assault with them. So yeah, the bikes, as you can see, they go deep into my lines. And they can, they are ready to do a multi charge. They will try to do as much damage as they can on my on my unit. Uh, here we see the bikes. Uh, this is quite scary. The chapter master, I don't have good tools to deal with them within close combat. Uh, the other assault, the, the four remaining assault marines, they just move ahead and try to assault me. He lost another assault marine with the dangerous terrain, like he's using the jump packs to get out of the this rock. So then in the shooting, he killed my unit of five tactical marines and, the, and my librarian with the lab weapons and the missile launchers. So the Centurions, really, the Centurions is quite a devastating unit. I decided to ignore them because I think that the Devastators and, and, and the drop pods were easier to kill and I wanted to kill as many species as I can on the first turn. But they are going to be a pain also to deal. I, have the, uh, I will say that Imperial Guard have difficulties to deal with Toughness 5. Uh, especially if you are playing with uh, uh, infantry units. If you play with tanks, then it's different. But as I wanted to, to check how infantry, how Imperial Guard infantry can play, uh, yeah, this was the, the main handicap I have. So this assault marines assault into my uh, again into my unit. Now it's quite damaged the unit because they deal with the previous squad of Space Marines. So they are assaulted again by a second wave with four, these four um, assault marines. And then the bikes did a multiple charge, engaging two of the military on Tempestus and the missile launchers at the same time. And then we go into the assault phase. Uh, first I start with the combat with the assault marines. I think he killed one or two of my garment. And then in retribution I killed three of the space marines. And he decided decide to run away. He used the run and hit special rule to run away. So yeah, there's, he was a slice back by my Garmin. On the other side, the bikes uh, did a multiple charge. They assault um, the military tempestus with the flamers, the military tempestus with plasma, and my unit of heavy weapons with missile launchers. I think in total, he did about. Um, Two or three wounds, he, I, uh, he went by two or three. No, he went by two because I did, uh, he did three wounds, but I managed to do a wound on the chapter master. Uh, I hold the position with my heavy weapon team and the two mill down the best of units, they just run away. So, yeah, in that case, uh, they, they, they get stuck in combat. So not too bad result. The only problem is one of my mill down the pestles, the one with 
um, Plasma ran out of the board. I really scored with one unit I scored a 10 to run away and the other unit I scored a 12. Luckily that the Flamers were too far to run away but the one, the other ones they are really uh, scored a quite uh, high value. So, and with that we finalize the turn, uh, the turn 2 of the White Scars and as you can see it's been a very bloody battle and I know I managed to kill almost the wave, uh, all the Devastators and, and all the Assault Marines uh, that they arrived in the turn 1. So we go into the turn 2 for the Astro Militarum and at that point we know that this is going to be the last turn because uh, we were running out of time, the battle, we were very slow playing this battle and we were running out of time in this turn. Yeah, in my turn 2, uh, what I decided to do, um, I decided to try to scratch as many points as I can. I decided to focus on, on the on the drop pods, so, and then I managed to kill one of the drop pods. I didn't manage to kill the second, the other with drop pod there, I think is remaining with, with just one uh, hull point. And then uh, I decided to, yeah, the, the alone assault marine that just uh, uh, fly away in the previous turn. I decided to chase him with my commissar and uh, uh, and my troops. So I, I go behind him and I kill the uh, the commissar. Uh, uh, score uh, uh, another uh, another dead. So I think in total co the, my commissar killed seven marines in this battle. So not a bad score for a commissar. A lot of commissar. Uh, of course, the bikes just destroyed my missile launchers and in the close combat. So the end was a very close battle, very bloody. Uh, he win to me uh, because he was able to score more points on the milestone missions. I was a little bit locked in my deployment area. I was not able to score my my objectives until the very the end of the battle. And yeah, and this uh, I had to pay this penalty at the end because I was not able to score my 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 objectives. So yeah, the end he won mm, by milestone missions, by kill points, I did 6 points and he did 6 points to me because uh, I get 4 points by the soul marines and I get uh, uh, 2 points for each drop pod and I think he killed 3 units of 2 points on me. So not a bad, not a bad battle, quite a balance, very bloody. So in 2 turns we kill m uh, almost more than 50% of the units that we had on our armies. So it's been a very bloody, short, intensive battle. So here we see more, more, um, me, uh, another review of the end of the battle. And yeah, some more pictures. And here you see the bottom. Uh, I just have to mention, uh, I completely forgot about my snipers unit. I deployed them far from when all my rest of the army is deployed, just to, to put them in a different spot. And I forgot them <laughs> during the full battle. As I said, uh, this has been a victory of the, of the West Cars, but was quite a narrow result, so not a very wide victory. Uh, he scored some more victory points than me, but that's, that's yeah, at the end was the victory because he was controlling mo the board more than me. Uh, my army is quite uh, st uh, static, I uh, have problems to move and have problems to hold objectives. If I keep the military and tempestus uh, in reserve, then I, I don't have enough punch. So, of course. What I have to do is I have to reduce points on some of my elite units and try to have something faster. And yeah, and if I want to use this formation, I think I need to invest in, in maybe in Valkyrias or Vendettas to be able to have some more mobility. Uh, yeah, this is all for this time. Um, if you want to support my, my channel, I just let you know that I have a Patreon account. If you want to do an extra support to my channel, you will find the link in the description below uh, in case you are interested. And yeah, and the money that I get from this, from the patronage, I will use it to improve this channel, to improve the content, and to yeah, to do more reviews, to do more uh, battle reports, and try to, to yeah, to do more, more and better if it's possible. And as usual, yeah, please like if you like it, subscribe if you don't subscribe it, comment, let me know what do you think about this battle. As usual, thanks a lot for watching, and see you later. Bye.